welcome back to another video i am doing you guys my box braids i started on my hair three days ago <laughs> well i actually parted my my boxes here let me show y'all real quick i don't know i look crazy but i will i parted my boxes on um wednesday night I mean, no wednesday morning i did some stuff so i didn't get back to my hair so i started my hair last night didn't finish last night so i started it today i didn't finish today because we had things to do this morning so i'm starting it back now and i want to do a video real guys for you guys real quick because i know i've got a request or two when i'm gonna do my last box braids y'all want to know how i did mine and honestly y'all i did my hair based off another girl's video and on my hair i used two techniques um like, I've only done my hair probably like two times, so my braiding is not all that. Because I usually don't do these type of braids. I always do crochet braids. But y'all know that. Um, but, yeah, I'll show you guys real quick. I'm not going to show you guys the rest of my head because, yeah. Well, I guess I can show you the back real quick. But all of them are not the same size. So, I have to go back and redo some. But I'm going to show you guys. How it looks when I'm finally done with it. The hair I'm using is right here. It's by Spectra. It, it comes in a bundle of four. I have one I used or am using right here. And the hair is pre-stretched. That's what I like about it. Because I don't have to sit there and pull and pull and tug and pull. Can't stand it. All you braiders know what I'm talking about. But this hair is already pre-stretched. It's by Innocence. And then it's also under Spectra. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Four times. The color I have is one. And the price is $5.99. I'll get it at my local breeze supply store. Okay, so I have my little piece of hair here. And I kind of twisted it on my finger. It, it's not going to stay twisted. but So I'm going to get my crochet needle here. By the way, I'm doing the box braids, the crochet style. Well, not style, y'all. The method. Sorry. So, we're going to put the crochet needle under my hair, under the rubbin, just like that. I'm going to hook the hair around. I'm going to lock it in place. Make sure it's in there all the way. See? I'm going to close it up. And then I'm going to just pull one side through. Just like that. My hair, my hair, I'm gonna pull it down a little bit. So that's the way it's gonna look, just like that. So my hair is in, it's not intertwined, it's just with it to give it uh, a um, longer piece to my hair. Then, so I'm going to get some more hair. And y'all, I don't have a certain amount of hair yet, I just measure it as I go. So my braids are not the same length or size, so, but it doesn't matter, because when you're done, it's gonna all flow together, so. So I'm gonna get about this big. I try to keep it in, in the same size as my other one, so I kinda keep it, you know, compared to the other one. So I got, it should probably be, that's probably too big right there, but I will. So anyways, I got this much hair, so I'm gonna, Grab it like this. So I'm gonna make all this one hair. So I'm gonna take this and wrap it around and pick the other ones up and come under. I'm gonna braid my hair in with it. Just like this. I hope y'all can see it. I usually braid underhanded. I'm not a overhand braider. So this braiding like this is kind of hard for me because I'm not used to braiding like this, but I'll show y'all guys how I do it at the very end 
because at the very end it's hard to braid on overhand it if you're not used to it so I'm gonna show you guys how I flip the braid around and just continue braiding underhanded because on my clients I braid underhanded but on myself I can't braid underhanded Lord knows I wish I could but I can't <clears throat> So yeah, whenever the hair is starting start to come out, I just turn up, turn up the whole braid around, take a little bit down, and just come underhanded like that. So I'm going underhanded now. So and like doing it like this, it does twist my braid a little, but I mean it's okay. I don't mind it being twisted because like I said at the very end, when it's all said and done, it's all gonna fall together. And my ends, I'm just going to braid the ends and I'm, and I'm going to put it in hot water. Okay, sorry y'all. She vacuumed really quick. But anyway, I stopped braiding so I can finish showing y'all. So there's the hair. I've already crocheted it in. I'm about to get some more hair. Y'all, making videos takes so much work people think it's easy to be a video creator but mm -mm, it's not i mean because your hairstyles take triple the time it would take you to do them because you want to get you know good angles and make sure that you're showing them exactly what they, what they need to see So we're gonna take the needle, put it under the ponytail, take some more hair, and put it on the loop like that. Close it up and pull it through. Whoop, just like that. So then so there, this is your part number three to your braid. Part number three. So you're gonna get some more hair, a slightly bit more than what you put in the first time, right here. So this should be enough for the braid. So by the time we braid it, it's gonna be big. I'm gonna add some more. Color. Right, let me show y'all. So you're gonna get the hair. Hold on, let me play off the wind. Okay, that's so much better, but let me show you guys real quick. <clears throat> so I got the part number three, part number one, two right here. So I'm gonna take the hair and wrap it around and grab the other hair with my middle finger and pick it up like this and start braiding. And then try to keep your braid tight so um, so it won't look deformed while you're braiding your hair down. See how I just did, I mean, it sometimes does it just by itself, but you want to just be careful that you keep your three parts separated and not separate the hair as you go down because sometimes it can make the braid look a little stinky. Like my braid is looking already. Just cause of that one little time is when I messed up. But I'm gonna keep going cause I don't feel like changing it. So it's like right there. See it? But it's cool, I don't care.
the royal band method for me is better for my hair it, well it's better for me because i'm able to grip my hair like the way i need to grip it and like my edges to be like legit because um see It's gonna be cute. It looks so neat, and I know I got white stuff in my hair, but I had gel on my hair today, so that's why I was faking it like that. Don't worry about that. Put a little water on it to go away. But yeah, my edges just start cute. They're cute, they're laid and slay, girl. Okay, so instead of going to the side, I'm gonna go backwards with the hair. So when it lay, you can lay it going backwards. Like this. I'm gonna go ahead and then on the when I go back, I just bring it forward like this, and I go ahead and um, undo a little bit. I like I find my hair, put a little gem on the edge of it. Divide it how it's supposed to be divided and keep on braiding. They're perfect so I'm about to just um my ends I'm gonna braid like one one braid on each side of my hair just the ends because I want it to be crinkled but not all the way up just on my ends so I'm gonna braid this like this and then I'm gonna get some hot water and then I'm gonna stick it in and take it down I'll show you guys how it comes out Okay, so I got the water, I got the braids, I got my towel. So I just have two cups of um, hot water. See this thing? It's super hot, y'all. Super hot. I got 
handles on them because it'll be easier for me to um, dip it and remove it and then put it down without having to put my hand in the water. Anyways, let's get started. That's a video transition. <laughs> okay, so first braid going in right now. So hot. Okay, so I've done both sides, but I think I'm gonna take it down in the morning so it can keep it, um, it can hold in the position that it's in right now for a little while longer because the hair is still wet so I don't want to take it down right now because I want the the ends to stay crinkled like all the way through my hair so I won't have to redo them so morning guys sorry I want to come to you guys real quick so I can show you guys my hair this morning it's gonna be a really quick uh, take so Let's see what they got to shower I really just woke up. <laughs> That's the way it looks. And the hair is sticking down. And the waves are in. I had it tied up last night. All the way up. But yeah, that's for my box braids. With the wavy in. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. See you later.